But we're in a battle of survival of this nation. We really are. When you look at these people, talk with their Green New Deal. But I don't want to knock it now, if you don't mind. I don't want to knock it. I knocked, I knocked the hell out of Pocahontas. I got it down. I don't want to. Too early. It's too early. They can change. I don't want to say the Green New Deal. I think it's a wonderful thing. I do want to think about it. I want to study it closely. I want to see whether or not we should ever use airplanes again. How about the senator from Hawaii? Nasty, nasty, horrible. Gee, what, what she says, what she says is so mean and angry. She's not the smartest person on the planet. She wants the Green New Deal, and then they informed her that that does not include airplanes. And you're the senator from Hawaii. So they said, what are you going to do? And then they talked about building a train to Hawaii. Can you believe? <laughs> no, no. She wants it even though you can't. You'll never get to Hawaii again. Say goodbye to Hawaii. No, it's crazy, isn't it, though? But I don't want to knock it. All of these things have to be studied. It's too soon. It's too soon. Let it go. Let, let it seed, like just like our great agenda has to seed like a tree. It has to seed. Let the Green New Deal seed. And then about two months before the campaign ends, I will rip that sucker like you did. <laughs> now let it seed, the Green New Deal. We'll have a, an economy based on wind. I never understood wind, and I know windmills very much. I've studied it better than anybody. I know it's very expensive. They're made in China and Germany, mostly. Very few made here, almost none. But they're manufactured tremendous, if you're into this, tremendous fumes, gases are spewing into the atmosphere. You know, we have a world, right? So the world is tiny compared to the universe. So tremendous, tremendous amount of fumes and everything. You talk, you talk about the carbon footprint, fumes are spewing into the air, right? It's spewing. Whether it's in China, Germany, it's going into the air, it's our air, their air, everything, right? So they make these things, and then they put them up. And if you own a house within vision of some of these monsters, uh, your house is worth 50% of the price. They're noisy. They kill the birds. You want to see a bird graveyard? You just go. Take a look. A bird graveyard? Go under a windmill someday. You'll see more birds than you've ever seen ever in your life. You know, in California, they were killing the bald eagle. If you shoot a bald eagle, they want to put you in jail for 10 years. A windmill will kill many bald eagles. It's true. And you know what? After a certain number, they make you turn the windmill off. That's true, by the way. This is, they make you turn it off after you. And yet, if you killed one, they put you in jail. That's okay. But why is it okay for these windmills to destroy the bird population? And that's what they're doing.